first brought you this story is breaking news yesterday. Since then, News 6 investigator Lewis Bolden has been talking with neighbors. Lewis, what are they saying about this 16-year-old's death? Well, Lisa, obviously they're saying that this is a tragic situation. Right behind me, you can see that the fence is knocked down after the car crashed into it. And this afternoon, we've learned the teenager who was killed inside was a junior at Jones High School. Linda Thomas has lived in this neighborhood for 17 years, and she is grateful one of the many bullets that flew right outside her home yesterday didn't come inside her home. The Lord has probably uh, blessed it, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised my car didn't get hit, neither that white car was sitting out there. Thomas said she heard the bullets as rounds were fired just outside her door. It was like a pop, pop, pop. In the end, police say 16-year-old Denim Williams was killed. Neighbors say he was sitting in the front seat of this vehicle that was riddled with bullets. Thomas says she watched him grow up in the neighborhood. Yeah, it's heartbreaking. Orlando police are still trying to figure out what happened and why it happened. Thomas says seeing children die is heartbreaking in any neighborhood, but she says it's much bigger than a neighborhood problem. I want you to remember when they took pre out of school and not pledging to the flag, I said, what you, what you thought was going to happen? Look at all the schools a lot getting shot up and going on. Orlando police have said they are questioning a number of people, but they obviously still need more information. D this afternoon, we've seen detectives walking the streets here and knocking on doors. We'll have that for you coming up at 5 o'clock. Lisa? Louis Bolden reporting live for us. Thank you.